Hey guys, Chris from Broken Dead RC, and uh, today, today we're going to talk about. Um, anyway, I made a video a while back, uh, about nine months ago. I bought a Trail Finder two, and um, did a video on it called "My Lousy Opinion," and um, just uh, you basically. Op well, there was actually two videos, but I prattle way too long in either of them. But uh, uh, basically, showing you kit. And, um, you know, different options and that kind of thing, what to expect. And um, uh, some guys are like me. They kind of, you know, uh, they always kind of wanted to get one of these and maybe not pull the trigger until recently they're under, they're, I believe they're still way under $400. So like, like 380 for the kit, which is really good. Um, it's a good deal. Um, anyway, did the video, uh, built a kit and uh, had a few adventures with it already and uh, just wanted to show off what it looks like and it looks like this um, I took the original kit body and I bought a Marlin bought the Marlin grill the Marlin front end grill which is like a more like a, a 79 Toyota as opposed to a 92 or so um, and I got that going on here which is kind of nice uh, also put a RC four wheel drive winch which uh, uh, pleasantly surprised me. Actually, it's a uh, it's a good winch. I um, uh, years ago when they first put that put this winch out, they uh, they carried a, a bunch of motors. You had to buy like two or three spare motors because the motors would always burn up. Uh, no more. It's uh, much better quality. Uh, it's great. It'll run on a uh, you know uh, regular. Uh, it'll it'll it's basically just the winch and the lead so there's no controller so you buy your own controller put it in there and uh, you get great performance out of it and most controllers are about oh I don't know I'd say uh, under $30 I've got a, a yeah racing controller in this um, front bumper RC four wheel drive uh, which I like the look a lot uh, it's just kind of a nice beefy bumper uh, these shackles, of course, are safe wheel drive. Um, I have to drill these out and make. They don't flop. They kind of they do this bit, <laughs> which is good. Hey, right. So I got to work on that. That's fine. Uh, I did uh, do. Let's see. I might uh, I might unhitch you guys for this one, uh, just because it'd be easier. Let's try that. Okay. So anyway. Uh, I did do a, a kind of a shackle reversal, uh, put the Toyota, the, well, <laughs> more like a real Toyota, basically reverse the shackles on it. Uh, the leaf springs are stock, uh, took out the helper spring, the third helper spring they give you. So it kind of helps it uh, a little bit in that department. Uh, Chino mod on the spring ends, which is very good. Um, that's about it. I think I put some oil in the shocks. I, I'm baffled even now as to why I did that, but whatever. Um, they seem to do just fine. Um, it's going to be stiff. I know it. It's just these trucks take a while to break in, which um, I kind of like that aspect of it, to be honest with you. Because, uh, you know, the, the longer you're on the trail, the more you break them in, the better they run. So there you go. Um, Wheels are the RC four-wheel drive steel wheels that came out with that Toyota, I think, eight, nine months ago, which is kind of nice. And then, uh, of course, the, the Wranglers, uh, which is kind of bizarre. It's a 155 rim and tire, but the tire is like four and a quarter, <laughs> which I'll admit I cheated. I wanted a little bit of ground clearance, but, you know, this is that's got to be a 38 or 40 tire on a real Toyota. I imagine in real life that would probably blow the diffs up. <laughs> pretty quickly or snap axles or what have you anyway here you go so it's not it's probably not totally realistic but um uh, that's all right i've got the smaller set in case i want to run those for shits and giggles uh i did ah, let's see if i can do this right what also i did uh i put the i got the aluminum uh I could never remember the name of these things. Uh, got the full aluminum uh, rock sliders, 
uh, put those in. And uh, those tubes that come out from the side of the frame that help attach the body, those are aluminum as well. So uh, I was just kind of thinking ahead and figuring it's it's going to be um, interesting in the long run. You know what I mean? The plastic tends to wear out over time, and that's all you're doing is screwing and unscrewing this body on all the time. That's another one of the fun parts of being a Trailfinder 2 owner. Um, anyway... Uh, stock, stock drive shafts, which are doing, holding up just fine right now. Uh, same thing in the rear. Put uh, boom racing shackle holders, thingamabobers, in the back. Uh, it's, I don't, I didn't put shooter shackles on it. Um, like I said, nothing, nothing fancy. Although it does have a, a pair of shackles on it. Um, like I said, nothing super fancy. The kind of the thing with the with these trucks is uh, they have limitations, but and you but you know that going in, and the fun part is to see how much you can get away with. And sometimes limitations on a trail truck are 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 a good thing. You know, if you're not competing, uh, you know what I mean. You have a you have a truck for competition, and you have a truck for trails, and and then you know like these things are like I never drove like for me it's like I never drove leaf springs. What's that like? And uh, I've had a leaf string truck before, but I haven't had an RC four wheel drive truck before. So, uh, it, it ends up being a lot of fun. Uh, that's another reason <laughs> I put this big boy, <laughs> I put, I put the lumber rack on here, which is a eBay special. Uh, it's actually, it looks pretty nice. I like it. Um, I like the style. It's what I'm used to out here in California. Uh, so it's, it's fun driving with the lumber rack, uh, cause it's, Obviously, yeah, duh. It's going to be a little top heavy. It's not. It's not terribly top heavy, but it's top heavy. Um, you can't get. You can't t get too freaky with it. Um, or yeah, she's going to go over. Uh, what else? Got the interior. I, got, I put a. No, I don't think you see it. I put a full interior with a driver, and it's the standard Tamiya. Uh, Tamiya driver in there. I don't know if windows are a little fogged up yet. Uh, it's got some boo-boos in the paint here and there. I forget the color. It's like a light blue. Oh, it's a Tamiya color. Um, and, of course, the details, uh, the CC hand details, I went ahead and put those on. Yeah, I just, I just put as much detail um, that I can from memory, you know. So it's uh, it's got the Toyota emblem on there. And, of course, signal lights and and all that good stuff the the tailgate was was kind of important to me to get that right and um you know that kind of thing same thing with the rear bumper that's rc four-wheel drive um and i think you know it does it does its job actually it's a pretty nice bumper uh you know got this all at like one piece at a time you know what i mean so i don't know i'm sure there's an extra 100 bucks 100 bucks in parts in this easy um yeah uh, the end result, I think, turned out actually uh, pretty well. Um, the foams, the foams on this truck are, I forget, I, I had a hard time with the foams. Um, just because it, uh, there's a, I'm used to like, I like, I like, um, I like the solid core foams. I just, my brain is killing me. Uh, I like the regular, like the, the 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 solid foams. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, there is a company, I guess, that, uh, that goes through A Main, and you can get like their crazy foams or something. And you can get different diameters of foams, which is great. Uh, however, for some of the like some wheels, like the Steely wheel, it's the uh, the width. They don't go by tire width too much, if I remember right. So it was kind of a process of getting a pair of foams, trying to make them fit. And I cut up about two different sets of foams. At the time, they weren't that expensive. And then they suddenly became a little more expensive. So um, uh, this is this is doing okay. It's, I live with it. it. It's no big deal. There's enough there for a, a good contact patch. And same thing in the front. doesn't totally fold over in the front uh, completely, believe it or not. Um, of course, it's got some, uh, got some nicks of the paint already. Um, <laughs> my plan is to weather this 
uh, not so much make it a rust bucket, but just uh, give it a patina, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm kind of playing around with other projects to see, like, the best way to do that. Uh, you know, um, I'll probably do some paint and, you know, coffee ground kind of combo and and wash this thing and or tea or something uh, just to kind of uh, give it a nice wash and, and weather it. I don't want to make it a total rust bucket, but uh, uh, weather it, make it right. Like, like you know, the, the bed is, that is way too too clean for a truck bed i mean come on uh plus it'll give me a chance to make some accessories and one of the part one of the fun parts i had a few years ago was making my own accessories and i want to get into that again because i don't have a 3d printer uh i don't have a lot of money period to spend on accessories so i'd like to make a ladder out of styrene that kind of thing um gas cans uh, maybe a chainsaw maybe a toolbox that kind of thing um Powering this thing is nothing special. It's uh, it does this TF2 does have a two speed in it. Uh, you know, shift duties are like are like a Amazon servo, um, you know, which is I think it was under twenty bucks. Is actually the thirty five kilogram, a twenty kilogram do you just fine. Uh, the transmission shifts really well, uh, so there's no there's no like headache there. You know what I mean. And it's a good shift. It, it's it doesn't take long to to it doesn't take much to to get it to engage. Is all I'm saying. Uh, so that's kind of cool and pretty easy to set up. I even locked out locked out first gear for a while, and uh, just to make things easy, I just kind of locked out the shift lever. Um, but eventually, I just was like ah, eh, just set it up. No big deal. Uh, like I said, it's got a winch controller in it. It's got a hobby just a hobby wing 1080. Uh, you know, it's like a $45 speed control, which does great. Uh, and then there's a Holmes hobby, like the 16 turn. I think it's, those are like 18 bucks a motor, you know, there's those closed can deals. Um, they're, you know, they're inexpensive and they run and I'll just basically run it until that craps out and, and then go from there and figure out what I'm going to do next. Uh, but you know, I think it's a hell of a motor for the money. Um, yeah. So, uh, see if I can focus in on the, I can't focus in on the driver. What's up? Anyway, yeah, I think he turned out pretty good. Uh, these are never finished, of course, and I need a lot more trail time. Um, this is great to take out to the lake, and uh, uh, I've got pictures associated with this thing. I don't have any running video, unfortunately. We're, we'll work on that. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean... Uh, the, the color is fun. The color is a blast. Um, what is the color? Uh, it's, a, it's a... Oh, TS-10. Let's see that focus. It is a Tamiya TS-10. Yeah, TS-10. Um, which I need another can of. Anyway, it's a... Yeah, it's a, it's a nice, bright, kind of a blue color. I'm sure it's not a Toyota factory color. I mean, I'm not... I'm not getting that crazy into it, um, but you know it looks good. It needs a little, you know, needs a little weathering. It needs a little breaking in time. And um, believe it or not, even with that big lumber rack, I really haven't spilled it that much. <laughs> it's just been a couple of runs on the granite, which you know, granite. If you touch granite, it just kills it. So, uh, uh, what I like about trail rash is that you know you can go in after and you know, with a wash and kind of rust it out or take out the, cause it's, everything's white underneath, um, and kind of make everything blend. You want it to blend. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick video. Uh, I, I posted up the first one and I, uh, I, I hadn't gotten to the stage yet and I thought, Oh, you know, I should uh, just do a quick show and tell on this thing. So anyway, that's about it. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.